for Dobell. And uh, thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. Well, members here in this House will recognise the important contribution made to our community by local registered clubs. And in my electorate of Dobell, the Entrance Leagues Club represents the great Australian spirit of pursuing a dream and not giving up despite numerous roadblocks and hurdles. The Entrance Leagues Club was a mere thought floated around by a few committee members and supporters of the Entrance Tigers Football Club back in the 1970s, but the idea had merit and quickly gained traction. Nonetheless, it tested the commitment and resilience of those involved as they experienced some positive progress and frustrating hurdles over the first 12 years. Indeed, the Entrance Leagues Club, which now boasts a membership of over 15,000, had humble and difficult beginnings, and it was only because of the tenacity of a few founding members that it stands the proud and successful club that it is today. In 1982, at the incorporation of the company and the beginning of the constitution, there were only 427 members. Land that was attached to the Bay Village complex had been an earmarked for the club, but it took another six years of loan rejections and extensive fundraising before the New South Wales government offered a 30-year lease on the land in 1988. But it wasn't until 1990, over a decade since the concept of the registered club was conceived, that plans were drawn and the bold decision to proceed was made, despite limited finance. In true Australian spirit, the entire community banded together to make this dream a reality. With limited funds, the building works went ahead with generous support from other clubs, the local construction industry, volunteer labour from footballers and supporters, and the gold and business life membership contributions. The club's construction saw an outpouring of community engagement from the supply of excavation equipment, bobcat operations, pest treatments, plumbing and drainage, concrete pump high, installation of beer lines, supply of brickwork, and the list is long and distinguished. All the while, membership was steadily growing as the dream of a club, the future home of the Tigers, was ever present in the mind of the local community. In 1993, the Entrance Leagues Club finally experienced its first year of trading. It was a great success, with all financial and trading targets either met or exceeded. And it was only fitting that the Entrance Tigers secured the first grade premiership victory, which was celebrated in style at their very own home club. Now, since that first year of trading, despite challenging restrictions on gaming provisions, a downturn in the economy and increased competition, the Entrance Leagues Club powered ahead, pushing through challenges and continuing to grow and expand both the premises and membership. Now, the club has consistently supported the community, providing a variety of junior and senior sporting sponsorships as well as financial support to a great many community organisations on the Central Coast. Now, I regret, due to the shortness of time, unable to personally uh, mention everyone who has contributed to the club. But recently, when I met with David Hart, the president of the club, um, it's true I, he has a passion I and love for the, the club. Member, and congratulations thank, to the club. I thank the member for.